this man's been told about his right. Yeah. Anyone who has ever felt this way can appreciate the panic, the confusion, which might lead someone in custody, whether he is guilty or not, to act guilty, to act defensively. For your family the money, huh? Uh -huh. And you wanted to get a lot of money to bring the family over, right? Concerned with efficiency, with the need to protect society, the police, understandably, go after the facts. See, Denise. Yeah, yeah. See, you know, my boss. Yeah. yeah. See. Yeah, you, you work for Denise. Yeah. Yeah. You work. You uh, sweep up for Denise. Uh, Yet put yourself in the place of someone who may not be aware of his rights, who may not understand the significance of questions directed to him, who may not even understand English. Okay, what were you doing on March 27th, huh? March 27th, 27th of March. Right, show them the date. Maybe that'll get through. 27th, 27th of March. You yeah, working for Denise? And decide if you, in his place, would be absolutely safe in trusting the policeman to be completely impartial in gathering the facts. Okay. You got that money from Denise? See, si, si, Denise. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got a friend, Josie? A friend, amigo, a buddy, a friend. Yeah, what's his name? Si, friend. See, si, Denise. Si, Denise. No, no, si. not Denise. Uh, not Denise. Somebody else. Amigo's name. Thank you. Oh, Miguel. Yeah, Miguel one. Miguel Francis. Yeah, Miguel Francis. Given these circumstances, would you be concerned only with efficiency, with securing a conviction? Or would you, if you were in custody, welcome the constitutional protections which we must have to guarantee the rights of those who may be innocent? Perhaps you may sometimes have...